been uh, asked by IKM Emergent to look at some of the implications of the work that's gone on within the programme for development practice. And we uh, took the opportunity of this conference here and all the people who've been involved in IKM who are here at the conference to have some in-depth reflections with people about implications for practice, but we thought that rather than talking about practice in general, the way that we could understand it is by asking people about their own practice, and so how their engagement with IKM and the work they've done has influenced or changed their own practice. And these are some of the results of some of the conversations that we yeah. have had. Yeah, the, uh, we, we thought that, uh, that uh, maybe a nice way to do it, we tried to ask people to, to, to draw an idea, a metaphor, a symbol, something that represents uh, their idea of IKM. Uh, as, as you can see, some people uh, were more uh, able to, to draw something, some others not, but, but, but we thought that there was a, a, good, a good way of understanding how people are making sense of, of what, uh, what, are, what, are, what are they taking out of, uh, of IKM. No? Um, as we also used uh, various questions uh, to kind of structure the conversation, not, not in a specific structure, but we, we, we were trying to deepen the conversations with people to understanding how their work in IKM relates to the whole of what, what IKM is, is about and the whole of development practice and how they link together. Um, uh, and some of the key questions, like, Obviously, what did you do and how did you do it and why did you do it? Uh, but then, what's it been useful for and what has changed for you? And through that, we've really been very inspired and uh, it's been a very positive um, process because there's been lots of commonalities between very mm. diverse areas of work. Mm. We spoke to Kemley, who's done work on local knowledge, and um, talking about her work, and she's d d drawn a lot of uh, uh, stuff here about how the work has uh, fitted within IKM and what it's happened. But one of the things she talked about is having, this is all in Spanish, so, but she talked about having a, a strong community base uh, in order to create uh, information artifacts that allow, uh, that, 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 create more diversity in development knowledge, so this idea of multiple knowledges. And, and that was the in initial um, pro process that they, they designed within IKM. But then it, it became much broader process as they, uh, through the engagement with IKM. So they started off with thinking about what's the community base, knowledge base, and how can they create an information artifact out of that, so it might be a document or a video or whatever. But then they realized they needed spaces, community spaces for which she calls dynamite, dynamization, if <laughs> you anglicize the word, um, to, um, to make sense of that, to debate it, to look at the, the different contradictions within it, and then that creates uh, more uh, cultural products, a different, different style of mm -hmm. cultural products, which then go back into the community base. So <coughs> the whole cycle broadened out through her engagement with IKM. And there's stuff here about her, uh, when we ask the question, what does your methodology look like? What do you do differently when you take into account multiple knowledges and you take into account emergence? And a one, one of the, I don't know if we can call it patterns, but one, one of the, the, the issues that we are seeing in different people is, 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 is uh, uh, giving value to the, to the structure of organization at itself. And that means that, that, that this, this way of, of, of organizing as a network as a, as a people with personal interests and, and some, some basic uh, uh, assumptions or some basic shared ideas about, about maybe what they don't want, uh, 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 it's, a, it's a good starting point. And, 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 and 
is, is that the, uh, in this case, they, they, they see uh, IKM as a, as a cloud, something that uh, as particles that are interacting and that are, that are having different forms are not, are not uh, perpetuate itself in time, but, but, but are, are creating something. And we can see some, some same pattern here, you know, casual uh, uh, relations and, and and maybe that go further or go or go deeper or not. Or and here there's diversity yeah. too, there's yeah. diversity, but but a commonality in what is that we're part of IKM, and that was something we're struggling with. What does it? What is IKM? And some of the things that came out from from that. Uh, what what it's diversity, but some kind of commonality, and that some of the things that identified that commonality were well emergence and multiple knowledges, but also um, integrity, mm, yeah. <laughs> also non-linear and not not predetermined results. So there were some commonalities there, uh, and that one also. Yeah, it's, it's it's like like the process as a as a result. You no, know? it's it's like is is the the relationships uh, uh, constructed. As, as, a, as a result, as a, as a way of people being more more critical about their own work, and even people working in Nicaragua with communities or people working in LSE, you know, we we, we, we said that almost all people can identify a, a change in themselves. That that is quite related to the issue of freedom, of of, of flexibility, that they, they could do what they want to do, and they they are, they were kind kind of more influential. In their in their environment to, to change so 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 is is so so the organization is in itself a a, 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 a result of the program we can say or we, we are seeing it as a, as a uh, some of these things that were written down here on, on orange are kind of again, reflected in several of the drawings and the, the, the post-its of kind of the, the, the conditions, the conditions for making your practice different and more in, in alignment with what we're, we're saying about being non-linear and not, not predetermined. And, and these conditions, things like open space, imagination, uh, having, having individual agency within, not being paralyzed by uncertainty and the idea that emergence of, you can't say what you're going to do, so you have to, you, you, you get paralyzed by this, but actually you, you can have some, um, it's about a, a, con, a kind of a dynamic uh, that, that's, that she described as a paradox really, between this kind of very rational knowledge and then this socially constructed knowledge and these multiple knowledges and you shouldn't have to say because multiple knowledges means that you can't have any truth or you can't have any uh, goal or because of emergence you can't have a vision or a goal so it's trying to find the right place for you where you can act in uncertainty without denying that uncertainty exists and the result of being in a space where you're allowed to have all of that going on is different for, depending on what you're doing and what practice, what practice you're in but in the case of, uh, of Robin from LSE you know she's, she's actually created a new MSC about media communications and development which didn't exist before and the director of that program comes from Malawi and has is bringing in different types of uh, perspectives and different types of knowledge and different types of um, ways of packaging knowledge that weren't really accepted as it were or, or used in that environment before. But she's also, at the same time as doing those very practical things, she's also um, draw, drawn on the outputs of IKM to influence her peers. So that's how we're understanding that change happens, that you don't, uh, and somebody over here was also, Josine was also talking about this, that some people were, you know, think that reflection is somebody's job and action is somebody else's job, but they're two parts of the same. So you, you, you can't focus on just on what change you're trying to happen, make happen. Mm -hmm. You don't just do that, what's going to make the change happen, and then somebody else reflect. But that by reflecting and working out what your beliefs and, 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 and what working in, 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 in this way means to your practice, change happens. Mm -hmm. as a result of that. So it's not, you're not focusing on the change, you're focusing on the way that you do things and the way that you understand. Uh, there's some people saying that, that even if, 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 for example, in the, in the IKM papers, the word 
the, the verb share, to share knowledge is, is, is one of the most used. Uh, some people were saying, yeah, some people were saying, no, but in the program, we should share more knowledge. You know, there's not a lot of spaces for 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 uh, uh, for sharing the, the issues that, or how how someone in in Costa Rica is making sense of what is the concept of traducture or what or, or what uh, someone in uh, in Geneva is talk is is making sense of what in uh, is is knowledges how how do you express that and how do you uh, uh, make it pra uh, practical and 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 there's where other bunch of people say no no they, they, there's no need for, for, for that, no? Uh, it, we don't need to, to be coherent, no? In fact, we, at the beginning, maybe we, we were much more uh, influenced by, by all IKM going to, to one point, and then people started to open it up, no? Like, okay, maybe certain parts of the, of the, of the program are, are relating and are talking to each other and, and are defining uh, uh, what is knowledge is, and, and, and others not, and it's not so... so I don't know. Uh, we don't, we don't, I really don't know like, if that could be a. a well, I think that, that draws on another. If we come over here, just to give more fair. <laughs> this is also showing very clearly this, what, what Sarah described as synapses. <coughs> but, you know, where you have some things, themes, and some people's work, and and other, uh, and, and just individual people as well. And all these are part of the mix, and they come together at certain points. And that by providing opportunities for those to come together, you're actually constructing knowledge mm, yeah. so that the, the, the idea of knowledge management the traditional idea of knowledge management that you get some knowledge some knowledge or some information and you can just package it and move it around for, you know I give it to you you give it to mm. her it, it is, is false I mean that we have to throw that out but what we're actually talking about in, in the ripples work that I did what came out very clearly is that you you construct in conversation with somebody mm. else uh, in, in your own experience, you, you make your make it into your own experience, and that is the learning, and then that becomes your your knowledge that you act on. And so, um, I think those two things come come together very well. That actually, the role of IKM has been to to allow those particles to collide in, in the particle accelerator, yeah. or in the cloud, or or in these, these, these net, this kind of a network model. And that really, in this process that we've done this week by being able to, as somebody who was involved in one area of the work, being able to talk in depth with other people who've done other bits of work to find out what it means to me. In that process, they've also been able to learn a bit about what my work means to them. Mm -hmm. We've been able to construct new understandings of what it means to work with emergence. And there are lots of things here which are practical. Uh, like I say, there's, there's plenty of post-its which are practical things that we've done differently or that have happened mm. because yeah. of that. But I think that we feel that we need to give those as examples, but we really need to tell the stories of why that change happened, because that's what's going to make the change happen in other places as well. And this was one of the diagrams. It's very small, I'm afraid, but that, that really helped to clarify some of the things that we're talking about here, because um, we're saying this is a starting point, say, for an NGO project, and the donor of, or whatever is asking for a result. So that means your process is that you start in the starting point and you plan how you're going to get to the change that you want, the, the result that you want, and, and you carry on along this line. But actually what learning and multiple knowledges and co-construction of, of, of knowledge and everything is about is, 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 is that inevitably, at this first point of your plan, you'll learn something new yeah. and you'll get, gain new understanding with your interaction with other people. So you're ne ne then the next step, the next step will be somewhere else, and the next step will be somewhere else, and the next step will, so that's what emergence is about. But actually, it, 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 what you find is that you're going towards somewhere that you told, the, it was not where you told the donor that you were going, or it doesn't actually, hopefully it fits within the vague thing that you said to the donor and you can carry on, but often people uh, don't find that so easy or they're not aware of that co conflict in, in, in what they're doing.